That was the first thing CJOH broadcast at noon on March 12, 1961. Ernie Bushnell finished a great career in Canadian broadcasting by opening one of the nation's first private television stations. For 25 years, this station has served the people of the Ottawa Valley, the Seaway Valley, and the city of Ottawa, trying to practice Mr. Bushnell's personal philosophy throughout the community. Well, let me put it this way. I, I took an interest in the city. I took an interest in, in the a lot of the uh, public works and that sort of thing. I was a member of two or three clubs, and I became an Ottawa citizen. And I enjoyed it. We're really proud to work work for a company that has your name. You gave us you gave us a great example to follow, and well, that's that's worth a lot to me. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's worth a lot more than dollars. In September of 1961, CJOH moved out of the basement on Bayswater into what were then the largest television studios in the country. Two of our predecessors at CJOH News prepared this report on the status of the station in those early years. From CJOH TV, CTV's News Center in Ottawa, I'm Baton Langton. And Peter Jennings with his news special about Canada's fifth largest market, Ottawa and the Seaway Valley. Peter, you were there right from the beginning. What was it like? Exciting, challenging, and brand new, Baton. But I think the person who can really tell you the story is this well-known gentleman talking with CTV news commentator, Ab Douglas. Can you tell us something about your operation here at CJOH? Well, Ab, uh most people know, I suppose, ours is a private company in which some 37 shareholders hold a financial interest. Well, could I ask you what an operation like this would cost, Mr. Bushnell? Well, I have it cost plenty. Uh, slightly more than $3 million. We have a big plant, a good plant. It's functional, well-staffed, and well-equipped. Well, this must be a startling change from Bayswater and uh, Somerset Street. Do you ever wish that you were back there? Um, yes and no. Uh, those were pioneering days. They were happy days, tough days. That was Mr. E.L. Bushnell, affectionately known as Bush, the president of CJOH-TV in Ottawa. According to the latest facts, Peter, Mr. Bushnell's station serves Canada's fifth largest market. Well, for someone who's grown up in this area of Baden, or at least spent a great deal of time here, I've probably been guilty of not noticing the tremendous changes. The Queen's Way, the new four-lane key to Ottawa's transportation problems, bisects the capital city from east to west. Looking north and west, it's easy to understand why Ottawa is one of Canada's fastest growing cities. This population explosion has attracted new industries, both large and small. One of these, Thomas Beauty Supply, manufacturers of Revlon products. But back to the central point of our story, CJOH, Television House, and its production facilities. Our guide, Stu Griffith, Vice President and General Manager. Dr. Andrew Stewart, the Chairman of the Board of Broadcast Governors, officially opened CJOH on October the 21st, 1961. And here we are in Studio A, two years later. There are four studios in this building, two this size, uh, each capable of uh, handling a live studio audience of about 300 people. Then we have two smaller studios, and in addition, in downtown Ottawa at the Chateau Laurier Hotel, we have a fifth studio adjacent to the Parliament Building. We have seven of the latest model Marconi Mark IV cameras to cover Ottawa and the Seaway. And we have two Viticon camera chains and two Ampex videotape recorders. We need these construction facilities because we produce more than 40 hours of live programs every week. And as you can gather, our painters and carpenters are kept busy all the time. CJOH backed its high-powered CTV and top-rated nationally selective programs 
with strong local shows that give it the reputation of being the community station in Ottawa and the Seaway Valley. Plaza AM and PM is Liberty Awards 1963 Women's Program winner. Seen twice daily, late morning and early afternoon, Plaza has a variety of crisp, popular segments. Beauty and weight conscious viewers trim with Kim daily when they're not tempted by the creations in Karen's kitchen. For preschoolers, their day begins at 9.40 with lessons and stories from their favorite, Miss Helen. Later in the school day, when school is out, a visit to Cartoonerville is a must, and with a bottomless bag of games, guests, and cartoons, are those veterans of Canada's first TV days, Uncle Chichimus and Hollyhock. This is CJOH's News Center. From here, three regular daily newscasts are edited for 13 and 8 viewers. But CJOH is especially proud that this is also the nerve center for CTV's nightly newscast. CTV's platform broke new ground in political broadcasting in Canada. Politicians from four parties, isolated in soundproof booths, appear together for the first time on a regular basis. Peter Jennings is now the anchorman on ABC's World News Tonight. He started here doing commercials. Farley Furniture in Orleans has tremendous savings for you. This eight-piece living room suite can be yours for only $338. Regular retail value is $591.85, so you save $253.85. Rich Little got his start on CJOH. How do you like it so far? And Chap Champagne was the piano player for nearly everyone who came to our studios back then. Champ, what was that you were just playing? That was a commercial that we did in the very early 60s, 62, 63, for a lumber company called Hodgins Lumber. And Gene Price sang it. I was on a stool with a guitar, and I'd say, hey, where are you going? And Gene answered, I'm going to Hodgins Lumber, etc." And that commercial was really, I mean, they played it. They played it, and they played it, and they played it. What precisely was the attitude of CJOH employees towards the community then? Well, I think when you're a new station, you're the new kid on the block, everything that happened CJOH was there. Log rolling contests, we were there. Donkey baseball, we were there. And we, you know, we, we part, as a matter of fact, I think CJOH still does that, much to its credit. Have you ever seen the CJOH uh, hockey team? The CJOH No Stars, an incredibly nice machine, now playing in fine communities in the Ottawa Valley. <laughs> announced 10.9% financing. Ottawa Ford blows it away with financing as low as 4.9%. 4.9 could save you hundreds in interest alone. Forget this. Pick out any new car or truck and forget about a March, April, May, June, July, or August payment. No payments till September. Or get up to $1,000 cash in your pocket. Or drive home any new car or truck with no down payment. Payments from $149 a month, no down payment. Don't miss 4.9. Up to $1,000 cash. No payments till September. Only at Ottawa Ford. A7. Hitachi introduces a microwave. A2. That's as easy to use as a toaster. A4. Now, with the push of a button, you can cook anything you want, just the way you want it. Automatically. The new Hitachi microwave. It makes even a roast as easy as toast. A6. Hitachi. Science for the senses. When Leon's has a sale, it's hard not to get excited. Leon's the best sale of it is finally here. It's Leon's greatest sale of the year. Buy what you want. Put on them down. Goodness gracious, don't pay a cent. Now at Leon, buy the quality furniture, appliances, and carpet you've always dreamed of. And don't pay a cent till July. Oh, baby. No down payment, no interest, and no payment till July. Only at Leon. Goodness gracious, don't pay a cent. Ice Capades, a new form, a new idea whose future has arrived. The creation of one of the most dramatic ice shows ever presented. The new Ice Capades, the new shape of things you'll see. For family entertainment, see Ice Capades at the Ottawa Civic Center, Wednesday, March 12th through Sunday, March 16th. Tickets at the Civic Center box office and Ottawa area Sears stores. 
Tonight, we turn the clock back 25 years at 7.30 when Robert Young and Jane Wyatt star in Father Knows Best. Then at 8, the great one, Jackie Gleason, stars in The Honeymooners. Now, uh, tell me, how long ago did you meet? Oh, I'd say, uh, 150 pounds ago? <laughs> <laughs> You're a riot, man, a real riot! 25 years together, you and CJOH. The first-class production facilities here on Maryville Road are not just used to put programs on CJOH. Programs are made here for television networks in Canada and the United States. Here's your coffee, George. Milk and Honey, produced by Harry Elton, was one of the first television soap operas. No, I've got to say it, George. What's that? Other dramas produced here were a bit more dramatic. And we were doing music videos a decade before Michael Jackson, Sting, Madonna, Hi, everybody. Welcome to our show. I'm Barry. Lawanda. Tracy. Joe. The family Brown has grown up on CJOA, beginning as the Wanderers. They are now stars of North American country music. The Ottawa Valley contains a lot of talented people. We're proud that many have been seen on CJOH. They have helped us fulfill one of Ernie Bushnell's objectives for this TV station, to entertain. Hello, I'm Wayne Rostad, and this is my home at Stag Creek. Most of my songwriting has been done here, and in the next hour, we'd like to share some of those songs with you. So, come on in. Dad special. We've also brought popular musicians to Ottawa often, like the Bay City Rollers in 1979. Turner with Glenn Fry, Sunday, August 18th, on the Super X Grandstand. And we've sponsored many concerts by the biggest stars in music. We've earned an international reputation as well. The mobile has been used by all North American broadcasters. Our technicians are recognized as experts in production. They often travel hundreds of miles to events, but they're also sought out for programs being done here in Ottawa, too. Good evening from Ottawa, Canada. And open the door, Francois, and cue with Stephen. Applause, please. Carlton Productions, our production company, has been used to do some of the most successful Canadian TV programs. Okay. Wow, that's all right. What's wrong with that? And then sprinkle some Chinese suntan lotion. <laughs> this is it. The technique I've actually got for you today uh, came up as a result of a trip that I took on an Amtrak railway uh, thing. And what happened was that the guy was, uh, was, was taking orders for poached eggs and he was breaking these into the water and the whole kitchen was going like this all the time and he turned out the most fantastic poached eggs. Just simply 
take hold of the <laughs> eggs, they need just a little bit longer. Let's try and see this one. That's a double yolker. Double yolkers take longer than single yolkers. There we are. And just simply, well, you can see how beautiful they are. They're, 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 there's nothing that looks like a map of Australia there at all. And just simply take up the egg. Oh, no, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Okay. Television will always be governed by Murphy's Law. Miss Darby, yeah. We're in the old theater on Main Street, yeah, next to Manny's Luncheonette and roto routine service, yeah. Well, just tell her to look for the names on the door, Willie and Floyd. Yeah, you can't reach Willie and Floyd have been here the almost as long as yeah. Murphy's Law. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Ah! What? What is that? Holy cat! Bill Luxton has been a station announcer from the first day. Now he's hosting Morning Magazine with Linda Sage. Les Lyon, you have become famous, or should I say infamous, as Willie and Floyd. How did that get started? I had created Uncle Willie back in Kingston, back in the late 50s. Anyway, Bill Swafield, who was one of our directors, suggested that I recreate Uncle Willie for introducing cartoons. At that time, we had been doing a morning show called The AM Show with Les Lye and Sandy McKee. And at times, Les would appear as a guy called Floyd. And somebody got the idea, why don't we put Floyd, this character, with Willie? He'll be the, the perennial junior member of the team. Willie will be the father figure who's always getting after Floyd. And that's how that started. We, uh, we introduced a lot of cartoons. And then we started doing so many shticks between the cartoons that they said, forget the cartoons, just do what you want to do. And it became a daily half-hour show for some time. Laz, you two have worked together for 20 years. Few comedy teams stay around so long. How has your relationship lasted? I hate his guts. No, no, no. <laughs> I've often thought of that, and Bill and I never talk much about it, but I suspect that, and I'm not comparing us to Laurel and Hardy, but what I know of Laurel and Hardy, I think there is that kind of a relationship. Um, very good. We very seldom, if ever, argue. I can't remember. We certainly never had a, a serious fight or argument about material or what we're going to do or what we're not going to do. It's like a marriage, somebody said, um, and we're certainly not looking toward a divorce at all. And if we are, I'm looking for alimony. announced 10.9% financing. Ottawa Ford blows it away with financing as low as 4.9%. 4.9 could save you hundreds in interest alone. Forget this. Pick out any new car or truck and forget about a March, April, May, June, July, or August payment. No payments till September. Or get up to $1,000 cash in your pocket. Or drive home any new car or truck with no down payment. Payments from $149 a month, no down payment. Don't miss 4.9. Up to $1,000 cash. No payments till September. Only at Ottawa Ford. Stars are busting loose on First Choice Super Channel. Night after night, you'll see stars like Sylvester Stallone, Eddie Murphy, Chuck Norris, Goldie Hawn, Charles Bronson, Madonna. Over 80 movies a month, including the smash hit Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! All yours on First Choice Super Channel, the movie network. Who you gonna call? Your cable company. Tell them you want satisfaction. Subscribe now. Great looking hair is Head and Shoulders hair, cause Head and Shoulders gives you dandruff head is good for your hair. You get all the dandruff control Head and Shoulders is famous for in a shampoo that's gentle on your hair. Dandruff head is good for your hair. Rich, gentle Head and Shoulders helps control dandruff and leaves your hair looking great, so you know it's good for your hair, like an apple a day. Head and Shoulders every time. Dandruff head is good for your hair. Women are choosing the cleaner, drier feeling of protection. They're choosing Always. Only Always has Dry Weave, the unique covering that keeps wetness away from you. With Dry Weave on the surface and superb absorbency beneath, you have protection on top of protection. Women are choosing Always in Maxi, Thin Maxi, Mini, and Panty Liner. Always the cleaner, drier feeling of protection. Help us celebrate our 25 years together tonight at 8.30 when we bring back the Andy Griffith Show. Hey, Andy. 
What are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. The fun continues at 9. From Television City in Hollywood. <laughs> with one of the early pioneers of television, Jack Benny and the Jack Benny Show. Get it over with. They want to watch the next show. It's the way we were tonight. 25 years together, you and CJ Witch. <laughs> Well, you have the chosen out of the way. Right. Can you get ready tonight? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fade up and cue Max. Good evening, I'm Max Keeping. This is Newsline. Now, there have been a lot of productions come out of this place, but no program has been more of a constant source of pride, I think, than the news. It's uh, probably one of the most demanding on a daily basis, and you certainly have been through the metamorphosis of the news operation, and you've set some pretty high standards. Nancy, I was setting the standards of Ernie Bushnell and Frank Ryan, who would serve this community with their broadcasting operations and try to live up to what, what they wanted uh, from the broadcasting operation that encouraged everyone who works at CJOH News to be a part of the community, to try and reflect in our news programs the values of the community, the cultural values, the heritage. And most of all, I, I think we've succeeded in introducing compassion into the news without that uh, in any way reflecting badly on the confidence and the factuality of the news. So that most of all, that we feel what people feel and we reflect that. The flowers that we wear were not something we stole from Pierre Trudeau. It was to remind our audiences that uh, the news on many days is a litany of horror stories. But that God did give us some beautiful things on this earth. And the flower reflects that. A number of top journalists have worked here. Charles Lynch, you were part of the news team in 1961. What was it like? It was tremendously exciting. It wasn't very romantic because it was in the basement of the D. Camp Edwards lumber yard. That place should be bronze, that, that whole place. But the basement of it, uh, on Bayswater uh, is, was the studio. I was the Parliament Hill correspondent uh, at the time. There were no staff correspondents. The, uh, the news uh, operation was very, very small. Harvey Kirk worked here while the CTV National News was produced in Ottawa. You were back here on your book tour in 1985 and had a chance to see CJOH again. What did you think? <laughs> Come a long way, no comparison. A lot of the people are still here, and you recall a lot of their names. I, I was amazed as I watched you. A lot of the people still there, and I, I have some really fond memories of Ottawa. I, I, I guess that was really where I got my feet wet in network television. Uh, and we did a lot of things by shoestrings, and perhaps we became better people for it. The, uh, I think I, I recount the story in the book about, uh, about how the Winston Churchill funeral was done. Uh, that was a marathon, and at the time, videotape wasn't available, there were no satellites. And if I'm not mistaken, I still can't confirm it, but if I'm not mistaken, Stu changed the plans of all five North American networks when he arranged to have a, a uh, uh, Vulcan bomber fly BBC tapes from London, I think to Halifax, then they were transported from Halifax to Toronto for us, or to Ottawa for us, to Toronto for CBC, and to New York for the three American networks. Harry and Patrick Alton, uh, Watson was here when the station studio, celebrated uh, its 10th anniversary. Lobby. We had brought in a number of, of young and experimental people in the news and current affairs field at OH at that time. And I guess they were trying out a lot of uh, slightly oddball stuff. We had a late night show very much in the spirit of the 60s called Up Against the Wall, which was pretty freaky by today's standards. And another one called The People's Friend, which was also uh, quite experimental by today's standards. And all in all, we were having quite a giddy time. There are about four dozen reporters, editors, cameramen, and production personnel in our newsroom today. And what they do is given high priority by the station's managers. In order to compete, I think, uh, in today's world of television, where you have such a, a large number of uh, competing channels, um, you have to excel to stay on top. And one of the basic uh, aspects of programming that 
really is the leader in the leadership of the station, if you will, is news. And because we excel so well at news, and are the leaders in television news in the marketplace, there is an automatic spin-off from that. You must have also some good programs to support that, but there is a there is a, an automatic spin-off from that. That uh, so goes news in terms of its leadership and audience, so goes the rest of the station. The vice president and general manager of CJOH is Bryn Matthews. Bryn, the station began as a small station serving a, a smaller community back in 1961. Television is a much different industry than it was uh, then. Uh, it's a much bigger uh, business uh, than then. Uh, in the exploding communications world of the 1980s, can you continue to be a community station? I think you can not only continue, not only must you continue to be, and I think it's absolutely practical to be a community station, it's imperative that we remain a community station with an even stronger community involvement, community image, community relationship than we have had in the past 20 odd years. So somehow we've got to find that fine line, the formula to provide a, a service that means something to people, that is interesting, that does attract them to CJOH, and at the same time, Builds our, builds our audiences and uh, rather than loses them in this world of, of increasing choice. Late last year, the station was bought out by a uh, Toronto broadcaster, Alan Slate. Will that make uh, CJOH a different station? I don't think it will make it different in the least, other than I think to rejuvenate, if it needed to be rejuvenated, our commitment to good, strong, local television service. Much of what we do which is a result of community pressures, is not necessarily displayed totally on our television screens. Uh, the drinking and driving um, campaign that we did at Christmas time, certainly a good deal of what that was all about was presented on Newsline. But much of what we represented was well beyond the television station in, in both advertising to draw people's attention to the issue of drinking and driving. And I suspect there'll be a good deal more of that kind of community involvement, which won't be totally limited to what we do and say on the air. It will go beyond what we do and say on the air and, and be part of people's lives, I, I would hope. I see part of the job that we have to do as a news department, in not only being sensitive to the community and in being compassionate, but I believe that we have a role to play in the development of this area in helping create a better quality of life. Is that the kind of corporate commitment uh, that you see from, from your end of the hall? No question. You, you, don't, you almost don't have to ask that, because I'm sure that if we had an overriding objective, it would be to become part of people's lives in a, in a really meaningful way. And it'll... Join me now for the Hands That Heal Telethon for the Ottawa Civic Hospital. One half million dollars. You are beautiful. Thank you. Oh, wow. The first 25 years have been interesting and a lot of fun for us here at CJOH. And for the next 25 years, this will continue to be your station as much as it is ours. CJOH will always do its best to serve the communities we reach. Good night. Thank you.